This video will review component access for servicing Dactronics ST3100 series scores tables. Modules are accessed from the front. Front access to modules requires removal of the top pad and face panel. To remove the top pad, use a small pick or screwdriver to disengage both spring pins on each of the hinges. and then lift the pad upward to remove it. After removing the top pad, you may now access and remove the face panel. Use a T25 Torx bit to loosen and remove the screws securing the face panel to the top flange. Next, pull the top of the plexiglass face panel outward, then lift the face panel upward to remove it. After the face panel is removed, you may remove the modules. To remove a module, begin by turning the knob on the module tool clockwise to disengage the magnet. Center the tool on the face of the module to be removed, and then turn the knob to engage the magnets. Pull the module straight outward to remove it from the display face. Use caution when removing and handling display modules to avoid damaging them. Reverse these steps to install a module. Looking at the table from the rear, you will see access doors underneath the tabletop. If there is a DI6000 installed within the table, it will be located behind the leftmost door. In a setup of multiple tables, there will only be one DI6000. The DI6000 may also be located in the control room depending on how your displays are configured. Behind the middle door, you will find the DMP and the switches for the Dactronix network, as well as the switch for customer internet. The customer internet switch provides signal to the ethernet jacks on the backsplash. Behind the right door, you will find the four column driver for light strip control, as well as the PLR.